You know what? I have never showed you guys my office. Y'all see those words up there? It's for a reason. You see this artwork back here? It's for a reason. But this is just the corner of my office. I have more stuff that way. But I will show you in a video, I promise. But as of right now, let's get back to reacting. Jake Paul, Jake Paul. I've seen a few videos out there, but I don't know what the hell they're talking about because I do not watch his videos anymore. So Drama Alert came out with a video called Jake Paul is showing the kids boobies and his foot is falling off. I don't care about his foot, but what the hell are you showing these damn baby kids? We all know that a lot of his followers, a lot of his viewers are children, okay? We all know this. And him and Logan Paul have been very controversial over the last couple years, but Logan Paul has matured, and his content no longer aims towards children. Now, if they decide to watch it, that's on them, you know, that's the parents. But Jake Paul, I think he's still aiming towards the kids, but I'm not quite sure. We're just gonna go ahead and watch this video, because I do not just want to speak out of my ass without really knowing. Let's go. We had to go with drama alert. I want to know what his thoughts are on this. What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Let's get it. Hell has frozen over. That's right, because today <laughs> I'm going to be forced to defend Jake Paul. Okay. Let's get into that story first. He's we defending. Talk about the return of Call Me Carson, because yesterday. Now, what we're not gonna do is watch somebody else, okay? Because we came on here to see what's going on with Jake Paul. So we're gonna fast forward. I see another Paul brother on here, so let's go ahead and watch that part. What's going on with, with Logan Paul? The news, Logan Paul and his beautiful masks. Guys, you know about this story, right? I told you out here that Logan Paul made 30,000 mask, maverick masks that he gave out for free. It was free. It's supposed to be Absolutely donation. Absolutely free. Yeah. Except for you had to pay like $7 shipping and handling. If you lived in Canada, it was like $25. And mm -hmm. I tried to explain to you right here on this show that this was a scam, that YouTubers have done this so many times before. This is not, it's not considered a scam though. Come on. He's being biased. He really does not like Logan Paul. People are getting the mask for free. Granted, yes, they had to pay shipping and handling. And granted, yes, that money does go into his pocket and his business. But remember, 30,000 masks, it costs money to make these items. I think there's nothing wrong with what he did. Now, if the mask had a price and then it was plus shipping and handling, then it'd be a lot more than $7, let me tell you. And never once did he say that shipping and handling was free. There's no scam here. They say something is free, but the shipping handling is way more than what it would actually cost. So he's making money. It's not free. Well, now there's a whole nother problem with these masks uh -oh. that Logan gave for free. Let's hear it. Because people haven't got their masks. That's right. We noticed a lot of people complaining uh -oh. that they haven't got their masks. They're bitching and complaining all over Twitter. Now that's the problem. Connor Thomas says, hey, Team Maverick, what's going on? Mike, Logan, hey, on April 10th, I bought a pandemic mask approximately 13 days ago. It still isn't here. It said seven or 10 business days. Look, bro, it's not just you, it's everyone. <coughs> I mean, it's not just, I bought a mask from a different company about, uh, yeah, about 20 days ago and I still haven't received it. I think it's happening a lot with all kinds of businesses that are selling masks. I would assume you're gonna get them at some point, but Nobody's got him now. And speaking about Logan Paul, Logan Paul has this podcast known as Impulsive, and he's had met Which I love, by the way. ...for guests on the show, and every time one of those guests gets into some controversy, he deletes the whole episode. Oh, yeah? He had Gun Girl on his show, and then when oh, Gun yeah. Girl got to a nationwide controversy, he deleted, he deleted it. the whole episode. And now it has happened again. Because Logan Paul had nightclub owner guy on his show. I didn't see oh. the episode. I don't know if you did. And I did. apparently that same guy is being sued by parents of a murder victim. That's right. Oh, apparently shit. The parents of this young lady that lost her life due to somebody date rape drugging her to the point where oh. she died is suing the same exact club owner that was on Logan Paul's show 
and this acts as a fell star. And as soon as this news came out, Logan Paul deleted the whole episode. So now. And there's nothing wrong with that. And now the whole reasoning on why he deleted the Kent State gun girl was because she was becoming a little bit too much controversial. She was saying a lot of things that Logan is totally and completely against. And he was not going to help promote her. So there's a good reason why he deleted that episode. Now this episode, it makes sense why he deleted this one too. He wants nothing to do with anything that is related to any guest that is under investigation for any type of murder or any type of lawsuit when it has to deal with murder. Who wants that on their name? Nobody. Guilty or innocent, you just don't want your name attached to that. You don't want Great to be attached movie. to these negative people and this negative story. Did I say that? So you're deleting it. I get that. But you're also kind of deleting history. You're kind of... You know what I mean? Like, it no, goes, I, I see this both ways. Like, I can't imagine, like, Joe Rogan, who's famous for podcasts, deleting whole episodes because one of his guests got in trouble with someone else. Like, I just feel like that's kind of shady to do. And speak There's nothing shady about that. He's very biased. This guy has... <laughs> he really hates Logan Paul. About Logan Paul, we need to talk about his brother, Jake Paul. Let's talk who, about uh, it. Has lost his marble. That's right, on Last Traveler, we reported that Jake He's Paul coming. was uploading a picture of him practically naked. And then yesterday, he uploaded this video. A video titled R Rated with him looking like he's about to take a bite out of his girlfriend's butthole. Farther in the video, okay. we do see some butts, but it's not his girlfriend's butt. It's his butt, and she's making face motions. What is for going on? I mean, you can literally see this kid's butt. Like, I don't, I don't know how this... Okay, Jake, and your girlfriend, whatever her name is, what are you doing? What are you thinking? This is the wrong platform to do this on. Why don't you guys go to OnlyFans? That's the perfect material to put that on. You know these kids are watching. But listen, it does say rated R. All us YouTubers, we have to filter our videos if it's kid friendly or not. I put my channel under not kids friendly because I do swear in my videos. I'm very opinionated. I talk about sensitive subjects. So if his page is filtered, then that's not his fault. Kids are going to always find a way to watch him. I'm sorry, but it's true out of YouTube. But to make matters even worse, then him and his girlfriend posted this picture on Instagram where Jake is simply covering the nips of his girlfriend. Why does he look like that? She looks fine. He looks strong on drugs. That's what he looks like. His eyes are rolled back. But he's getting older. I mean, what do you guys expect? He's not on the Disney Channel anymore. <laughs> That whole bra thing I made myself, by the way. I made that in paint, pretty proud of it. It looks like she's actually wearing something. But in the original picture, she wearing nothing. Now, we all know that Jake Paul has a child audience. So a lot of people are starting to say this is inappropriate. We're gonna get into uh, the reaction on Twitter last uh -oh. night. Popular YouTuber known as Rob Gavigan wanted to point out that something is wrong with Jake Paul's foot. I didn't actually notice this at first, but yeah, if you zoom into that picture with him and his girlfriend on the car, yeah, something's wrong with Jake's foot, bro. You He's an athlete. Beans, bro. Your foot's about to fall off. But then Rob followed up with this comment saying this. This dude entertains kids. This dude always has a swarm of kids outside of his house. Parents, when your 13-year-old girl needs an abortion, consider a few things. Damn, okay. He went hard, but then Jake Paul responded back oh, by shit. saying this. Imagine being as stupid as you are. I wish I could wake up and be a sheep. People, grow up. My audience is 18 to 24. You're an ignorant critic who has never accomplished <laughs> anything. Try having a belly laugh or getting laid, buddy. I bet you haven't in a while. Okay, so now, Jake, do this because I don't believe anybody's word. Show us your analytics. I want to see that your main audience is between the, eight, the ages of 18 to 24. Because I don't necessarily believe that's true. No, oh, I don't even know how you could disagree with that, seeing as how it's every day, bro, with that Disney Channel flow. But anyhow, remember when Jake Paul was telling Rob that, like, you know, his fans are like 18 to 24? Well, that just can't be true. In fact, Nerd City responded by saying, 18 to 24? Post up the analytics and show- That's what I said. Post up the analytics and let us know if that's true. If you show us, if you show us that proof, 
then by all means, do what you gotta do. Show your girl's boobies, show your pee pee, do what you want. <laughs> but either way, your, your shit won't get monetized. Now I'm gonna show you my analytics. And let's go to age and gender, shall we? Age. You see that, y'all? My, my biggest audience is between the ages of 18 and 24. That's my target audience. And the rest are, are older. There's very few, there's only 9% out of 100 that is between the ages of 13 and 17. Let's get back to the video. One, how old is your fan base? Because you can show this on YouTube, Nerd City showing that his fan base really is mostly 18 to 24. I mean everyone, and when I mean everybody knows that you have child fans. I yeah, mean, been working 100%. On this for you. And then Jake Paul tweeted out this. Happiness is greater than money. Bro, what are you talking about? Okay, yes, of course your video yesterday got demonetized. Of course, right? Right. But let's not act like you didn't do that for money because in the middle of this goddamn video, you are promoting some cringy mobile app. Like, I, So you got money for that promotion. I finished all this by saying this. I was Lil Wayne's biggest fan. I was nine years old watching Lil Wayne's documentary where he was doing Molly and effing groupies and going crazy. Don't blame me, blame my role model. Okay, bro, <laughs> with that Disney Channel flow, let's try this logic, okay? Let's, let's just play this game, all right? Let's play the game. It's not Jake Paul's fault for how he's acting. It's actually Lil Wayne's because <laughs> Jake Paul watched Lil Wayne when he was a little boy then that would mean that any of these little kids that start messing up and doing bad stuff, who's to blame for who they're watching? I, I think that's you! But anyhow, at the <laughs> that's very what I was start of this video, I told you that I was gonna do something crazy. I was gonna defend Jake Paul, and I'm going to, and this is why, all right? All right? He is getting a ton of hate right now because people are thinking the content that he's uploading isn't appropriate for his child fans. And this didn't happen by accident. Jake Paul went out of his way to make sure he had a kid audience. He would dress up like Santa Claus. Right. And he would tell the kids. YouTube's biggest audience are children. Well, I don't know now, but were children. It's a great business move. If you know the majority are children, you're gonna target them and create these videos specifically for these kids. But as you get older, my friend, if you're gonna be doing some X-rated stuff, your audience has to change, you get me? Tell your parents that you want Santa to bring them some Jake Paul merch. But here's the problem, and here's why I need to defend Jake Paul. Okay. Because for years, we've been telling him to stop preying on kids. And now that he's not preying on kids, we're telling him, stop uploading older content for kids. Like, we can't have it both ways. I think it's better that him and his brother stopped preying on kids. I think it's better that they're making adult content. I believe it. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I agree with that 100%. They're maturing. They're getting older. They don't want to be kid-friendly anymore. So if kids watch them, it's because they used to follow them a couple years ago. The only time that can be stopped is if parents watch what their kids are watching and filter their computers, their tablets, their phones. But I'm telling you this much right now. We've all been kids before. If we wanna watch something, we're always gonna find a way. That's how it works. Is it for today's video. Guys, if you're new here and you wanna keep up to date on all these stories, you have to subscribe with those notifications. And remember, as soon as I get the scoop, I'm gonna keep you in the loop. Slap a like on this video if you enjoyed your time here. Trouble Nation, now over 5,500,000 subscribers. All right, good for you. I only have a thousand and some change, but that's all right though. I'm patient. I'm just waiting for my followers, my subs, my supporters to share my videos. The second y'all share my videos, I'll be rising to the top, you get me? But. Until then, I will keep posting my videos and working as hard as I can while working a full-time job. So, all right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.